Hi, this is Michelle Miller with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Arizona Properties. And I'm in this lovely estate, is the only word for it, because it's beautiful and it's huge, um, to do some staging today. And so I'm uh, gonna tackle these bookcases. And uh, But I wanted to give you a little bit of, some quick, quick tips on you know, how to decorate bookcases. I think a lot of people get tripped up on what, what should I do, what should I put in them. Um, and so this is gonna change, but if you were living in the house, you know, living in your house, and getting your house ready for sale are two different things. But if you're living in your house, this is really cute idea that I think she's done here. So each bookshelf she has um, is sort of dedicated to events that she's had or people she's had over and stayed with her. And so, um, and so like the bottles of wine that they drank, she'll keep the corks. Um, there might be some pictures of, you know, all the people that were here visiting. Um, if there's little cards, if people send you a card that was, you know, hey, thanks for having me, you know, stuff like that. And all mixed together. I think it's really neat. Um, like I said, we're going to, it's too personalized for when you're selling your house. But, you know, if you're living in it, I think it's really cute. And it really is kind of interesting to look at all the stuff that she has in there. Now, I did want to show you a couple of things on this bookshelf that she um, has. It's really nice. And these are good tips um, to carry on. This homeowner actually does have a, a good eye for putting things together. I just need to take the personalization out of it. Um, so when you're doing a bookshelf, you want to try and vary what you're doing from shelf to shelf. So if you're doing like a middle alignment or a big piece in the middle on this shelf, on this shelf you might want to separate things and have some stuff on either corner and kind of change up each shelf so that it doesn't look like everything runs right down the middle and it looks like a stripe in your bookshelf. Um, the other thing is you want to layer things. So like you can see in her shelf, she has some pictures in the back, then she has um, some things in the foreground, and then she uses books, the books themselves in really interesting ways, which is great. Um, she'll have, she has them stacked here on an angle, and you can have them kind of tipping over, stacked up, and then put a frame on top, that's good. Um, and then some of them she clustered by color, which I think looks really good in here too, especially when the bookshelves are dark really um, the color really does pop off of them um, and then a, a last little tip is when you buy books like at the bookstore um, you know if you're not using your Kindle some of them come with jackets on them and actually if you take the jacket off the book itself can look a lot better than those you know some of those jackets just aren't that good looking uh, for a really cool look if you wanted to go kind of monochromatic or um, kind of modern you could get like that white butcher paper you know they wrap up meat in and cover your books remember you know all how we had to do that in second grade cover all our books and make book covers same concept and cover them all in white and have stacks of white books um you know sideways this way um and it does it looks really really good especially if your shelves are dark like this it will really pop and i've seen um like in restoration hardware and stuff they do that sometimes because books can be if you buy them like at a used bookstore and stuff can be really inexpensive way to decorate. So anyways, I hope you picked up a couple of good tips and thanks so much for watching. Until next time.